This has been an interesting way to start the session this year, correct? Um, more interesting than usual, I, uh, you could say that. Do you think this is going to affect the entire session? Uh, what's the feeling in the caucus? Or Well, of course, when something like this happens, it, there's always the potential that there is another shoe to drop out there. And so uh, the, the key to that is just for us to be prepared for, for what could happen. And so you just have to take it a day at a time. Right. Uh, typically, when you have something like this happen, uh, f emotions run pretty high for a few days and it kind of dies off because we get busy. And, and, uh, but I, I think the speaker and, and others will, will deal with this a step at a time. If there are things that develop, uh, they'll just be dealt with in, uh, according to our rules. It's been, um, I think, a higher stress start than I've ever experienced, um, filled with a lot of different emotions. Um, many of us last night were visiting and talked about how it feels like we've already been here at least a month, if, if not. Um, it, some even said it feels a little bit more like March, mm -hmm. um, the way we feel in, in, when we get to March and we've, we've been through so many things already together. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm still hopeful. I'm still hopeful that we as a body can learn from this and, and most importantly learn how to respect each other mm -hmm. um, and to help each other um, rather than to work against each other. That's my hope. It will only linger if either side of this issue um, refuses to let go. Mm -hmm. um, I, and I hope that doesn't happen. I hope that we're all willing um, to look at this as a learning experience, apologize for the wrongdoings on either side, mm -hmm. and say, let's move forward um, in, in good faith in each other and in the process, and, and be more helpful and, and courteous. Well, time will tell. Uh, certainly, the you know the, I think the, the Democrats are in a pretty no drama situation. Uh, we're united, and we are ready to work on the business of the people with any faction of the Republican Party that's ready to work with us. Uh, so I, I think we will certainly have the numbers to pass good bills uh, if, if folks are ready to move beyond this drama and and do that. Uh, but you know we are. We on the Democratic side are certainly stand ready to be grown-ups and uh, <laughs> move toward the business that we've been elected to do. I hope that there's a resolution that can be reached um, that whereby um, all the parties involved will feel that, feel that their needs are heard and resolved and uh, that, that there's at least enough good feeling restored that, that there can be cooperation and that the, the people of District 1, one way or another, ultimately can, can have a voice on these committees. I, um, I am concerned that there's a block of the population that large uh, that, that doesn't have rep representation at the committee level, which is where so much business is done. Uh, I understand the speaker's um, feeling that he needs to restore civility and send a message, um, but I hope that that goal can be achieved um, and ultimately you know, ensure that the citizens are heard too.